Hi there, it's Allison Graham, and it is Storytime Sunday. And i that means I am going to read to you from my book, Married My Mom, Birth the Dog, How to Be Resilient When Life Sucks. Because let's face it, sometimes life sucks, but you are going to have the tools to bounce back faster and stronger like a resiliency ninja. So let's find something to read, shall we? Spectacles on. All right. Uh, okay, let me not even look because now I'm judging which ones I want to read. I'm just going to open. It's going to open up something. Now remember, each chapter is uh, sort of a story or an experience of mine, the lessons that come from it, and then coaching questions on how you can integrate it into your own life. Okay, and there are a lot of other resources too over at resiliencyninja.com. All right, so uh, this is chapter 27. And interesting, because this is the second Sunday that I've uh, found chapters on self-sabotage. So here's another one. And if this is something that you experience, I do have a, a video program that is no charge over available on my website at resiliencyninja.com. Sign up for that, you can get access to it, and it'll give you some, uh, even go deeper on how to overcome self-sabotage, because I think it's very important. So here we go. Later in this book, I'll come clean about the terrible message as I used to say to myself. This will help you understand how big a leap it was for me to create confidence and to start believing in myself. It was difficult to recognize my talent, I kept knocking myself down to keep myself in check. To start, I had to stop confusing confidence with arrogance. Believing in your self-worth is different than being conceited. Knowing what unique brilliance you have to offer those around you is not being egotistical. It sets you on a path to self-realization and allows you to step into your personal power. That's a good thing. Owning your brilliance and accomplishments does not mean you are oblivious to your faults. In fact, true confidence allows you to recognize and accept your genius and your flaws at the same time. It also gives you an objective perspective to quiet the powerful destructive habits that afflict so many of us. In my work, I recognize that there are certain ways I can serve clients well and there are other areas where I'm just not talented. Knowing where I shine and where I don't means that others can fill in those blanks, rather than me trying to be all things to all people. It's hard to become a resiliency ninja without recognizing the offense, offense and defense that we are playing simultaneously within ourselves. That is, while parts of us want to win and want to shine, our destructive instincts want to shut us down and hide our light. To, recognizing, to recognize your self-sabotaging routines and change them, make a list of areas where you doubt yourself. Bring these unhelpful beliefs into the light by writing out, I'm not good enough to statements. Go as deep and granular as you can with this list. Then you can rewrite the manuscript of your life to counter all this negative thinking. For example, I, you know what, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to stop reading there because I don't want to make these too long. Uh, but you can get that information on how to use that exercise to flip your thinking and to create some confidence. So anyway, that was chapter... Uh, 27 confidence over self-sabotage so it'll help you with the confidence piece which is really important of course and uh, that's it for Storytime Sunday if you don't have my book yet please go get your book and if you have got it and you love it send me a review so put it on Amazon put it on Nook on Goodreads wherever you like to go to uh, share your insights around a book please do that uh, it will help this get into the hands of other people. I am loving getting all the feedback from people just around the world and sending me notes and uh, how certain pieces of it really resonated with them. So uh, if that's uh, from you, then thank you. And if you haven't sent me a note yet, please do. Allison at resiliencyninja.com. 
Lots of great stuff over on my website. Please come visit me, subscribe and share. Thank you. And until next time, Resiliency Ninjas, dare I say, you can say it with me, but ciao.